All right, guys, welcome back. In this video, we are going to learn how to install Python and PyCharm, which is an IDE for writing code into our computer. If you have already installed Python and you already have a place to write code like Sublime Text or any other IDE that you like to use, feel free to go with that. If you don't know what an IDE is, IDE is basically a place where you write the code. And PyCharm somewhat looks like this. Now I prefer PyCharm, but you can go with any other IDE. So let's get started. So first thing you need to do is install Python. I'm just gonna not install Python 3.8 because I already have Python 3.7 installed on my computer. And you can also do that if you wanna follow along, but feel free to download any version of Python that's above three. You can even download the latest version. And then just go to the PyCharm website. Over there, you just need to go to jetbrains.com, PyCharms, and then download and download the community version. The community version is free, obviously. I recommend downloading the professional version, which has a 30 day trial. But if you don't want to, you can even download the community version, which works pretty well for our needs. So after you have downloaded it, it will somewhat look like this. And after you have opened it, make sure you create a new project and you can call your project whatever you want. I've called it sentiment analysis so that you guys can understand what this project means. And if you wanna follow along, you can also name your project the same. After that, I'm just gonna create a new file over here where we are gonna write all of our code. So I'm just gonna call this main Python file. And inside this main Python file, we are gonna write Let's uh, don't focus on this. This is basically my GitHub repository. And so if this pop doesn't pop up, don't worry about it. I'm just gonna cancel it and cross it over here. And I'm just gonna create this main.py file. Also don't get confused with this red color and green color, whatever happens over here. Just focus on the code that I'm gonna write and just follow along. Now inside this main.py file, we are gonna be writing all of our code from the next video. And this is pretty much it. This was a pretty short video just to make sure that you guys have everything set up properly. It doesn't have a lot of requirements, this natural language processing and sentiment analysis because we are going to be writing our code from scratch. And that's pretty much it guys. I'll see you in the next video.